Um, yeah. Um, come with me. So, you see, everything came in in the container, and what happens is all the tires have to be taken off all the wheels that came with tires. Because we don't, we don't sell them with the tires because most of them are crap or used. And then we organize all the the decent ones over here, ones that might be sold. All the wheels get lined up, just burying the old bad Evo. And uh, these are all going to be photographed now, so we're going to bring them outside. And we just go through each set one by one. We check the specs, see if they're broken or scratched or anything bad is wrong with them. And then give them a little clean so they look nice for pictures. The boys are living the dream. Adrian has a two day. Guess look. Oh! The new apprentice is living the dream also. Flat out with the WD. Flat out with the WD. So our plan the last time was to fill the wheel wall and get some cool videos of it because it's only ever been filled once. But we didn't even get a chance to fill it because it was almost full for about an hour and then about 10 sets of wheels sold. So nobody buy any wheels for a few weeks. Also, we've run out of room on the wall for engines. This is actually the the most engines we've ever had. There are a lot of engines. Sean is suffering. Let's go for it. Okay. We're fairly strapped for space at the moment. So the little trolley we use is just totally buried. <laughs> now we gotta move everything back. Go on, Sean. Sean, you have it, Sean. Go on. Well done, Sean. Hey! Ho oh, oh. ho! Wow. Serious stuff. We tried to buy wheels that are in good condition, but you're buying used stuff from Japan, so it's coming from the other side of the world, and most of the time everything's all right, but we do get the odd cracked or damaged wheel. Yeah, some of the wheels don't have any sizes on them. The stickers are just completely gone so instead of trusting the sizes on Yahoo we usually measure all the wheels Adrian is just doing it here now so how do you measure the offsets Adrian? You measure the full weight of the wheel all right half it yeah then you measure from there down to the yeah. mountain point take them away from each other and that's your offset. That's your offset. Yeah, because when you find the full length of it, and then you divide it by zero, that's zero offset. So then when you take the distance from that down to the center, away from it, that's how much the wheel is offset from zero. That, where the wheel mounts to the hook, when that's behind the center of the wheel, the wheel is minus. Yeah. And it's plus then when it's, when it's past, the past the center. Oh, I was close, 34. Close 34. Yeah. So 140 was 280 divided by 2, and then you minus the 174, and then you got minus 34, which means plus 34. Yeah, because that's before the center of the wheel. Yeah. And then if it's a plus on, on, the, on this one, it's a minus offset. Yay. Knowledge. <laughs> huh? It's gonna make no sense. It's great that we could totally complicate something that's supposedly quite simple to understand. So don't use us as a reference for a tutorial on how to measure your offsets. But it's actually quite simple. There's great videos there on There is. It. I think Driftworks and Barrel Brothers did actual decent tutorials. They're the widest ones. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we just line them up like this. We put the fat ones at the back, skinny ones at the front, just to give people a perception of the wheel and how they will look. Yes, yeah, so when we're finished photographing them, they live on the wheel wall. That's where they're going to live until somebody buys them. How do you feel? Very proud. Very proud. <laughs> That's a great work of art, look at this. Yeah, we have the older generation CRK, and then we have the new generation CRK with the stepped spoke. How are you lads?
to love the English. Wisdom and bravery, appearance of genuine a knight. Yeah, so as we were saying, um, when we photograph all the wheels, we check them out, see if there's anything wrong with them. And these SP3s are fucked. So you buy these from Japan, you take the risk, and you know, it doesn't always work out. You can see that, it's cracked. Somebody was driving on this, and it's fucking broken there. There, there. There, there, there. There's another better look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the most cracked rim I have ever seen in my life. I guess somebody just drove on this for ages. So yeah, we try and find all this, or at least keep an eye out for this stuff because you never know when you're buying used stuff off Yahoo Auctions. And here's a perfect example of a rim that is fucking in bits. Ah, uh, this one's been welded before, but the weld is actually after cracking on it. Usually when they are cracked, we just get them sent off and get them welded. Usually does the job, but obviously this one wasn't done properly. Fuck, yeah, another crack there, another crack there. Japan fucked us. They fucked us good. Without any physical. Eight. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check it out. Eight cracks. Fucking Jeez. mental. Yeah, so there's like almost a bit of an inch gone off this. Somebody was just driving on this for ages. Completely just. It's just fucking crazy. Yeah, these are fucked. Nice. Sean assisted in the uh, tire change. <laughs> no, upgraded. Yeah, that looks way better. <laughs> 